Good morning, afternoon, or evening, whatever it is your time zone across the world. It is Motivational Wisdom Time. Today, I'm going to educate you so you can grow and lead, a fundamental principle I use in my management consultant services. We're going to start off with a scripture, as I always do. Wine is a mocker, strong drink is a brawler. And whoever is led astray by it is not wise. This motivational uh, wisdom talk today, it's a, it's a lifeline to save a life for our young people, those young at heart, and people that may be caught up in an environment of control substance. I am talking from my heart to yours To be a blessing of what the Lord delivered me from, Um, it was only through the prayers of my mother and the saints praying for me that pricked my very heart to rededicate my life under total submission and obedience to the Godhead, God the Father, Son, Jesus Christ, and Holy Ghost. I was instantly delivered and never look back. God looks at the heart. He looks at the heart. Society as a whole dictates in order to have fun, feel good, pleasure, or enjoy life, you have to indulge in alcoholic beverages. Even so, some form of controlled substance. It is a lie, and it is a deceiver. But there is hope, and that hope is in Jesus Christ. If you need to be totally delivered from wine and and, uh, strong drink or controlled substance. So today, we are going to examine the word wine and strong drink. And how it relates to the practical and biblical principles for spiritual growth. In essence, wine and strong drink is a controlled substance. A controlled substance is defined as a drug or chemical substance whose possession and use is controlled by the law. Wine is defined as a liquor or beverage prepared from the juice of any fruit or plant by a process similar to that for grape wine, currant wine, gooseberry wine, palm wine, and cherry wine. It is fermented. It's a solution made from opium, an addictive narcotic extracted from seed capsules of the opium poppy seed. It is referenced as a spirit with an intoxication effect. Strong drink is defined as a distilled liquor, a hard drink, a hard liquor such as brandy, gin, vodka, whiskey, tequila, and rum. It is even referenced as booze and fire water, and it is a spirit. In the business world, it is called substance abuse. A key component leadership of successful organizations must deal with to foster an environment of health and well-being. The intervention program known as Employee Assistance Program now is used to assist employees with personal problems and or work-related problems such as substance abuse that may impact their job performance health, mental, and emotional well-being. Henceforth, it is fostered in an environment of growth and human sustainability. In the context of the scripture, King Solomon left on record for all people in leadership following him the importance of not letting society dictate or control environments to indulge in wine and strong drink because of the spirit 
an effect it has on the mentality of a person, deterring them from their full potential. For instance, I call this no courage ass act. It is the ability to recognize and know the state you are in will only lead to destruction. Courage to ask for help and move forward for the greater. Thought to ponder. Your heart to change for the greater gives you the ability, mentality, courage to fight for change, transforming yourself into a message of hope, relying on God for total deliverance. What lessons can be learned about wine and strong drink, controlled substance, and substance abuse? There are five important lessons. Discovering the truth and know and seek. Lessons learned about wine, strong drink, controlled substance, and substance abuse. One, no wine makes a person become as a mocker because of the controlled substance effect. It detours one thinking capacity. Now, mocker is referenced as a deceiver, imposter, or scorner. So it takes on the de- characteristics of being a deceiver or copycat to detour from the original state of someone to control the environment. Seek help with courage to change. Two, no strong drink is a brawler that will lead a person to become a fighter to lose one's mind, belligerent or nuisance, you will not know where you are from strong drink. It will have you act in unseen ways and compete in acts you will not normally do. Seek help with courage to change. Three, know anyone who indulges in wine a strong drink, simple, is not wise. There is no if and or but. There is no in between. The good thing about the Lord Jesus, he gave each of us from birth the ability to choose between right or wrong. Now, sometimes an individual may be in a situation because of abuse or trauma or the environment out, which is out of their control. But God looks at the heart. Seek help. Make choices of wisdom. Four, no wine or strong drink will have you lose your value and worth in yourself. Henceforth, leading you away from the plan and life God has for you. Each one of us has a special purpose on this earth. Change your mentality of thinking. Seek help. Throw it away. You have purpose. Five. Truth. Society as a whole. Use wine, beer, and strong drink as a mechanism to control the environment. In geographical areas, governments, churches, homes, and workplaces. It controls a person's identity of who they are. It is used at social events to see how you will act and to control you. They are looking at you. You have to be watchful who you entrust yourself to. You have to be watchful who you entrust your children to. When your children go off to college, be careful and make sure Who you entrusted your child to is that person. Be part of your child's life away from college. Seek help and value life. In closing, transparency revealed to you of 
my life, to save a life. God is mindful of you this very day. God looks at the heart and willingness to repent, to be totally delivered. Remember, an environment of life is a progressive climate and culture of growth. Change your environment if needed. Change your view if needed. Change your courage if needed. Speak life, grow, and lead. You have value. You have purpose. From my heart to yours. This is Lady Cynthia R. Kelly signing off with motivational wisdom. You be blessed and stay connected to Jesus and tune in next week. You have purpose. Change your view.